Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I'm really excited about this video. Sahara and Mojave, my Tarahamara Mountain King Snakes. I put all of those babies into the rack. So today I'm gonna be showing you all of them. I haven't shown you that clutch yet. And I'm also gonna be taking all of Xena and Edge's clutch that just shed out. We're gonna be putting them into the rack. So I got a lot to show you and I'm thirsty. I need a little caffeine. So let me go get a coffee and I'll be right back. On a real hot day like this, there's nothing that will refresh me like a Stumptown iced coffee straight from Portland, Oregon, the finest coffee in a bottle. This stuff is like magic. Oh yeah. All right guys, my coffee's nice and ready. I wanna make a toast for everybody. We're gonna give a toast for everybody today. Here's to you guys. All right, guys, it's just too nice out here to sit in that house and do the recording. Just a beautiful day, nice and hot, but now the shade is just starting to come over us. So now this is the perfect time. So the Tower Hamara Mountain King Snakes come from the mountains of Mexico. And I did try and breed these last year with no success because Mojave caught a respiratory infection in the cooler. So this four-year-old pair finally had a beautiful clutch this year and that's the clutch I'm going to be showing you. They're exactly 10 days old, so tomorrow we'll be feeding them. That'll be another video. So I'm going to make one more toast to all you guys watching, to all these beautiful babies. And now I'm going to show you those amazing hatchlings. Alright guys, I got the first baby in my hand. Give you guys a close up. This is one of the small, smaller babies in the clutch. But look at the way the fiery red goes into the head. And above the head, it's a little halo of an orange yellowish, which makes it look like it's on fire. I'm so happy with these babies. There's some really amazing looking babies in this clutch. Take a look at that nice little belly. Now something I love about the Tarahamara Mountain Kings, they're so calm. They remind me a lot of corn snakes and they're just beautiful. So I'm gonna put this little one away. I still got a lot more babies to show you. All right guys, I'm here with the next baby. This one looks pretty similar to the last one, but this one is a little bit bigger, a little bit more meat on its bones. Maybe might even, whoop, this one might actually have a slightly more bold marking pattern and higher band count. You know, some of these have higher band counts. And look how beautiful, another beautiful, beautiful baby. Take a look at the belly, it's got a nice, interesting looking belly. And this is one of my most favorite of the mountain king snakes. The only mountain king snake that I like better, my all time favorite, is just that classical Arizona mountain king snake. And hopefully we'll be breeding those in about a year or two. So this is the second baby. Let me go grab the next one. I got a lot to show you. All right, guys, I got another baby right here. Take a close look. Just an amazing looking little snake. Now, I gotta talk to some breeders that breed these normally. This is my first time. This one might be a hypo, I'm not sure. The belly is almost totally clear all the way down. It does have a little bit of speckling and the pattern is almost the same it has a slight reduction of black in it and it has a slightly lighter color 
hypos are very easy for me to pick out in California king snakes, but I'm not too sure with these Tower Hamara Mountains, but this one is definitely a special one. So I'm gonna put this little guy back and grab the next one. Oh yeah, so out of the whole clutch, this might be my favorite. I even wrote hold back on his bin. Now take a close look at this guy. Out of all the babies, this guy has some of the most bold markings and really nice high band count. Beautiful crisp whites and blacks in between each saddle. Just so, such nice strong colors. Oh man, look at that belly. Now on his head, it's just pure black. Some of the other babies have red in the head stamp, which I really like. But I just can't get over how nice and bold this guy is. And I think this guy might be the biggest one in the clutch as well. I want you guys to get up close and personal. These are just amazing. And hopefully next year, Sahara and Mojave are bigger and they have a bigger clutch and we can get a ton of these beautiful babies. Now you'll see all kind of different morphs and combinations. Sometimes there's nothing better than just a classical wild type look. Sometimes you just can't beat mother nature. Oh baby. Keeps getting better and better. That last baby I showed you, I'm holding that one back. And this one is equally as beautiful, and I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> it's wrapped around my finger. Okay, there we go. Now take a look at this beautiful baby. Real nice band count. On the sides it has nice red, but something that really, really stands out to me about this one I'm gonna have to zoom in. Cameraman, zoom in. So something that really stands out to me about this one, the red in the coloration is a little bit lighter. Right below the head stamp, that nice halo of orange. That nice halo of orange is really light. But the most impressive thing about this baby is in the actual head stamp, it's solid red, not solid solid red, but it's got a lot of red in it. Whereas a lot of the other ones have just black. Even Sahara and Mojave, the parents, don't really have any red in the actual head stamp. This guy is like a firehouse. So it's hard to pick up the red on his head with this camera. As this babies keep moving around, it's hard to focus. So I'm gonna do a little B-roll and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm feeling so good today. It's a beautiful day showing beautiful snakes with beautiful people. You know, I gotta be on the lookout because we got some nosy neighbors, but everybody's okay. Now, this is the last baby from the Tara Humara, Tara Humara Mountain King Snake Clutch. Sometimes that's a tongue twister. Now you can see on the sides, it kind of just breaks up a little bit. Sometimes it won't break up and there'll be solid bands all the way through. That's pretty special and unique. Now this one has a nice high band count and somewhere in the bands there's a slight breakage. It's kind of like a little aberrant pattern. It's somewhere in there. I think it's right there. Nothing major but it stands out a little bit. All right guys, so here we are. I got the bin set up. I'm using hemp bedding for this. I just ordered some Sani chip. Should be here in a couple of days. Can't wait to use that good stuff. So now we're using this 
And this is Xena and Edge's babies. We're gonna start putting them into the rack and labeling them. Oh yeah. Now this is one of my favorite snakes in the clutch. That white above the head kind of bleeds into the head stamp. High, high band count. This one reminds me of a zebra. I would probably name this one zebra if I kept it. Just a beautiful snake. I was thinking about holding that guy back, still not sure but I probably will make him available and he's going into his hide. All right, this one's hiding. And there's that guy. This one has a really nice, interesting looking pattern. And if you look right there, it almost looks like a smiley face sideways. This is another one I would have considered holding back. These are all beautiful. These are all beautiful and all of them are head albino. All head albino. Look at that beautiful snake right there. So this is the last one. And this is the guy that I'll be holding back. He just reminds me so much of Xena. And he also has a little bit of an aberrant pattern right there just such a cool looking pattern on this guy none of these have tried to bite me not even one time these are newborns so that's pretty interesting how calm they are and look how beautiful this guy is so any of the ones from this clutch have the capability of producing albinos and some really interesting looking ones at that these snakes are just amazing so now let me show you the only albino in the clutch. We decided to hold this one back. Albinos are some of our favorites. And my fiance named this little one Albany, like the capital of New York. Give you guys a better look. Really high white on this albino. Just gonna get better with age. So I want to thank my friends at Stumptown for making such amazing coffee and helping me through these videos. Now Sahara and Mojave love to eat rodents, but hatchlings, mountain king snake hatchlings usually want to eat lizards and they're a little bit tricky to get onto rodents. So I'm going to offer these babies regular frozen thawed rodents. If it doesn't work, then we'll try the next step using lizard sheds and such. It's gonna be fun and I'm sure I'm gonna get all these babies to eat and you guys are gonna be here to see it. I'm gonna show you everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You love those babies. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sahara and Mojave, my Sahara Marat Mahat, what? <laughs> oh boy, I guess that's a blooper. So excited to do this one, Mojave, and um, Sahara. All right guys, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties with the coffee. Right before recording, around 25 to 30 minutes, I put it in the freezer and it seems like it started to freeze. So let me try and get this out of the bottle and we'll continue recording. Oh yeah, so good.